Hi, I'm Trenton Gilmore, and you're watching Hot Rod Madness. Welcome to Hot Rod Madness, where we believe that every car has a story. Whether your car is a ground pounding, tire smoking street machine, or a trophy winning classic with blinding chrome and paint, Hot Rod Madness wants to hear your story. Who knows? Maybe your story will inspire future generations to dream, build, and own their own classic rides. Here to bring you those stories is the host of Hot Rod Madness, Tim the Milkman, along with the Hot Rod Madness crew. Welcome to Hot Rod Madness. If there's one event that's truly caught the madness, it has to be the Atomic Blast in Gulfport, Mississippi. If you love smoky burnouts, donut contests, and some of the wildest street rods and rat rods on the planet, you've come to the right place. From Gulfport Dragway, it's the Atomic Blast. Will you survive? Kenny, what's happening, buddy? Hey, how you doing, buddy? All right, sir. How many years have you been coming to the Atomic Blast? Well, actually, this is my first time to come to this one. Well, all right, we got something in coming. This is my first year. <laughs> there you go. And so far, yep, it is an Atomic Blast. Yes, so far, it's just cool, man. The whole place is full of rat rods. One of my favorite hot rods you know to do and kenny you got a cool one here buddy thank you man keith's garage what's that all about well i actually asked my little brother okay he died in uh oh man 2008 so yeah he was born in 57. so your 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 hot rod is uh, a tribute to your brother yes sir yeah he'd be here with me if yep. if he was still kicking i'm sure he would especially in a cool little car like this well, he, he had his own <laughs> he had his own okay yeah we, right. we, we did cars and bikes out for years gotcha back and forth where are you from man Slidell. okay louisiana all right sir and the year of the body what do you got here dude well it's titled in 1927 but yeah. it's kind of this is a pickup this is a car this is another car it's kind of pieced together okay is, is that is that like fiberglass body no or it's all steel it's There's all a little steel bondo in here where we chopped the top okay Wonder what that top came off of, man. It I'm not sure. Kind of looks familiar, but I can't yeah, tell. Yeah, I'm know? not really sure. It was put together. Yeah. You know, when it, when I bought it, it was like this. It looks good though, you know. It, it was on an older frame, and yeah. I put it on a, a a newer frame. Yeah, the top fits the body quite well. Yeah, you're right. That's man. that's different, you know. Mm -hmm. You don't see that every day. Yeah. <laughs> and that small block Chevy, what you got it's here? It's a 283. 283. Yeah. Hey man, you don't you don't see the two eighty threes no right. more either. It runs like a clock. It just, it just rolls down yeah. the road. Love these old school rides because they're made up of old school parts. That's right. That's it. All right, step up here and let's check it out. Okay. Man, you got some some nostalgia valve covers. Yes sir. How big's that carburetor, man? That's a six hundred. Yep. Yeah, it's a little streetable engine. It's not no hot rod. It just I just roll with it to car shows and cruise ends. Well, you know, you can say it ain't no hot rod, well, but, I mean, it's a hot rod, but, but you know. <laughs> there's no hood, no fenders That's on right. this thing, dude. Well, I, I like to say it's got everything. No yeah. fenders, no hood, no bumpers. Well, one of the best features is you can enjoy it on the street every day if right. you wanted to, right? That's right. Yeah. I, 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 I roll it. It rolls. Man, that thing looks great. Kenny, I appreciate you showing your ride on Hot Rod Madness today, Thank brother. You, man. All right. Terry, what's going on, brother? How about it? All right, dude. Man, you can't walk past a dang go-kart like this man and not ask how big's the motor on that thing man? oh that's a 750 honda 750 honda on a little bitty frame that thing can't weigh nothing man you know it runs pretty good oh i bet I and bet it's it. and it's for sale it's for sale what you want for it man 2900 2900 gets the creation dude i bet that thing will fly i don't know i ain't never had it yeah. maybe about 90. Man, I'd, be, that, I'd so. be scared to floor it dang yeah. that thing it might take flight or something look at yeah. that what a creation, man. You built this in your backyard, sir? Yep, they built yeah. it in the shop. Yep. Okay. All right, then. So you uh, trashed out a bike, built the frame? Well, we wrecked the bike. You wrecked the bike. <laughs> All right. <laughs> understand. Hey, man, got to use the part somehow. There you go. Well, 
Gary, how are you, man? All right. All right. All right. Dude, we're out here looking at some really cool rat rods, buddy. And uh, this one's still on the trailer, man. You plan on getting it off the trailer in a little bit? Yeah, not not this, maybe the next one. I, okay. got, I still got a little plumbing to do on it. I was hoping to have it running, okay. but it's close. Hey, right? man. Just getting it here to me was good. Hey, man, you know why I targeted this thing, right? Dude, <laughs> this is not the full S10. This is just the bed you utilize the bed you narrowed some kind of top for it you got a, a wheelbarrow for a grill <laughs> dude what inspired you to build this grandson grandson my All grandson right. his daddy took his daddy bought the s10 yeah to put a 54 chevrolet on the s10 frame okay the bed was sitting in his yard i said what are you gonna do with it and he said what are you gonna do with it i said i'll yeah. tell you about it so i got the bed and brought it home my brother gave me the front end out from under his truck. Okay. I put a fat man front end, so I took the Camaro front end. Got home, my nephew called. He's got a cab for an S10. Okay. So I got the saws all out and give it to my grandson, and he went to cut. And he got said, the saws all out. He said, Papa, I cut it all up. I said, good, buddy. He said, what are you going to do with it now? Yeah. I drew a picture and showed him. He said, cool. He now, said, cool. what what creativity, man? You take just the bed and make the whole body out of it. Look at that. <laughs> it had to be something different. That's, That's crazy. All I could think hey, of. man, love different. That's yeah. what it's all about. Did you have to narrow the frame in to get? No. The, okay. It's the stock whip. All right. It's got a, It's like a '78 Camaro front end and a. 76 suburban rear end okay and that's just a fleet side s10 long wheelbase bed it's what it looked like yeah and i bought some two by four tubing okay and made the frame myself i took two by fours and put them together first okay and then set the set the bed up and just started sticking it together all right cool and and that's that's an actual wheelbarrow for yeah. a grill, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I told my father-in-law that, and he, he's like yeah, yeah. 80 years old when he when yeah. he said, I can't imagine. Well, he's supposed to be here today to see it for the first time. Yep. He hadn't seen it. So. And, and your air cleaner? That That's looks, a Sportster gas yeah, tank. Yeah, it looks like a gas tank for a motorcycle. And the cap is a root beer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't drink, so I got me a root beer can. Okay. Stuck up there. Got you. All right, sir. That's that's cool. This is this, it. It reeks fun, man. That's yeah. pure fun, sir. And, and, and you it, get to share it with your grandkids. How about that? Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, yeah. he's in. That's cool. The All big right. thing to me was was uh, making something out of nothing yeah. and spending as little as sure. possible. Sure. So. That's what it's all about, man. Yeah. And the people, the, the people, every, everywhere I look, I see something that got another idea, but yeah. I don't want to steal nobody. Oh, here at the Atomic Blast, this whole field's full of creativity, man. Yeah. yeah people just cool like you. Yet. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Hot Rod Madness. We invite you to check back soon as Tim the Milkman checks out more madness from the Atomic Blast in Gulfport, Mississippi. From all the crew, thanks for watching Hot Rod Madness.